Magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. I'm Rico, your one and only classmate. And today we're going to talk about application of data mining. Analyzing information and data set. And since my topic is a prequel lesson related about application of big data, I'm just going to make it short and easy to consume as possible. So let's begin. So, para naman magkaroon tayo ng interes sa topic at ano ba yung magandang dulot nito sa buhay mo bilang tao at bilang IT, in a nutshell, data mining is like a detective tool for finding hidden patterns in large sets of information. It's used in many aspects of our lives to make better predictions. So, kung madalas kayo nagpipredict or nagde-decide sa buhay nyo, lalo na sa trabaho, sa pag-aaral, o kahit sa pamilya, no? Recommendations and decisions based on the patterns it uncovers in data. So, we have three objectives of what to learn in data mining. Ang una, discover patterns, relationship, and trends. So, wala ka pa relationship. De joke lang. Okay, pangalawa, identify outliers and anomalies in data points. And third, pangatlo, build predictive models which you can use to forecast future events. So, what's the use of data mining? Diba, nung mga nakaraang discussion, dinefine natin ang meaning ng data mining. So, in our topic today, we're going to unfold what's the use of it and what are the different techniques when we are mining data. Or in layman's Filipino term, ano ang best practices ng mga pangangalikan ng files? These are the uses of data mining that are really being given its own purpose nowadays. And I think you graduate school classmates can relate. First is shopping insights. Imagine you own a store and want to understand what your customer like to buy. Second, credit scores. If you ever wondered how banks decide whether to give you a loan or a credit card, so data mining plays a role. Third, health prediction. Think about a doctor trying to predict if someone is at risk or a particular illness or if you happen to remember our exercise in business intelligence that I think it's related to the determining of risk level. It could be in the gender or a type of employee and if it has a fever. So those are the things that we should consider when we talk about health prediction. Fourth is Netflix recommendation. Netflix and chill. So when you watch movies or shows on platforms like Netflix, so data mining is at work behind the scenes, especially if you watch previous movie and they added it as like a data of what movies needs to be recommended to you next. So that plays a role. Fifth is school performance. So for students and teachers, data mining can be like having a personal study guide. By looking at how students have performed in the past, it helps predict who might need extra help. And lastly, I think weather prediction and social media understanding plays a role and also relatable due to the data mining purposes. And may iba tayo for the purpose of discussion, no? para siyempre may mabigay akong magandang example. Data mining can also use to catch bad guys. So medyo maiba lang. There's an incident happened way back 2009 sa isang company na nagsara sa Baguio. And when we uh, when we talk about Baguio, we already know na diba, may mga kwentong kababalaghan, katatakutan, kasi daw malamig. Ganun daw pag malamig yung lugar, marami daw nagmumulto or something but this is somewhat still related to our topic hindi tayo nagkikwentuhan ng katatakutan na so way back then hindi pa aware ang mga native IT or sino unang mga IT natin sa data mining so here's what happened nag-hire yung company ng security analyst to investigate the logs you know why? because every 2 to 3 a.m. the elevator suddenly goes up to 13th floor and most of the security guards there in the building doesn't have the guts to check it dahil random daw yung hours. So the security analyst advised the chairman of the building to collect logs of employees of the certain company floors going up 
to 13 using biometrics at hindi na yung usual na time in time out card dahil hindi convinced si security analyst na multo daw yung sumasakay sa elevator at that current time may kumakalat kasi na kwento na kasi ito daw yung empleyado na tumalon sa building dahil stress sa work <laughs> no sana walang tatalon pag ganun after a month of collecting data using the anomaly detection method they found out na isa palang supervisor ng bahang ko yung gumagamit ng elevator dahil nag-match yung late time out at early time in niya which happened to be identified as outlier kasi sino ba namang sobrang late mag-time out at early mag-time in sa work, di ba? Araw-araw for 3 months. So imagine that. They later found out na nagpupuslit pala ng pera sa vault yung supervisor. Iniiwan niya yung pera sa isang locker sa 13th floor dahil walang CCTV. At bumababa siya sa hagdan, pababa ng ground floor, papuntang likod ng building, at dun siya umaalis. Or upauwi, syempre, di ba? Dahil wala rin daw CCTV sa hagdan at sa likod ng building. So, di kalauna nung na-investigate, nakulong yung supervisor. And that is with the use of data mining. By identifying the outlier using the time in and time out of the employees. Diba? Ang galing na security analyst. Sana all. Dahil nakinig ka sa kwento ko, sana nagkaroon tayo ng interest. Ano-ano nga ba yung mga benefits and advantages na naitutulong sa atin ng pagmamine ng data. So, we'll proceed with the data mining techniques and that includes clustering, classification, regression, associate rule mining, anomaly detection, which is this, the example set before, text mining, time series analysis, and lastly, machine learning. Para naman mas maintindihan natin yung mga data mining techniques, uh, mas mainam na magbigay tayo ng mga examples for techniques. So, una, yung clustering. Um, imagine you have a box of toys. Diba? Some of these toys are similar because they are, for example, all cars. And some are similar because they are all animals. So, imaginein mo, bumalik ka sa pagkabata. So, meron kang laruan ng mga kotse at ng mga animal, ng mga animals. So, clustering is like putting all the similar toys together in their own groups. So, all the cars go together in one place and all the animals go together at certain place too. Now, when you want to play with cars, you know exactly where to find them. So, siguro, nung bata ka at ma-organize ka sa mga, mga laruan, you already applied clustering data mining techniques when you were a preschooler or a grade 1, di ba, nung bata ka pa. Pangalawa, classification. So, hmm, right? think about different types of fruits, di ba, para sa mga <laughs> healthy lifestyle. <laughs> okay? So, think about types of fruits. We have apples, bananas, and ano ba, oranges. So, now, if I show you a new fruit and ask, is this an apple? a banana, or an orange, diba? And you can tell me which one it is. So, that's like classification. You are going to classify a certain object diba? or a certain data and define them of what type of object they are. So, it's like putting things into groups based on what they are. So, if it's round and red, it's probably an apple. So, it is being what? Classified. Okay, third, regression. So, pag sinabing regret, regression, parang ano, parang paatras, no? Or something uh, being analyzed as a trend or a downward, down, downward trend. So, let's talk about growing plants. So, you know how a little plant grow taller as it gets more sunlight and water. So, regression is like figuring out how much the plant will grow by looking at how much sunlight and water it gets. So, basic na basic. So, if we give the plant a lot of sunlight and water, we can use a regression to guess how much taller it might get. It helps us understand how things change or grow based on other things. So, nagkakaroon tayo ng mga set of substandard na mag 
natutulong sa atin paano natin ma-identify if an object is increasing or growing or decreasing, declining. All right. So, let's proceed with the next slide. Uh, next is associate wool mining. Imagine you have favorite snacks. Wow. So, sometimes when you get or when you eat cookies, you also like to have milk. So, association rule mining is like noticing that whenever you have cookies, you often want to have milk with them. Ito yung assignment natin eh. So, ito yung example no. Diba? Yung sa beer, milk, chicken, and yung more on association with other grocery products, yung prune and joint. So, it help us find patterns about things that usually go together. It's like how you might like to wear your favorite shirt with your favorite pants. Second, anomaly detection. I explained it a while ago and, you know, about the elevator stuff and how the security analyst identified the culprit what is the reason bakit yung elevator lagi na lang gumagana or lagi na lang ginagamit uh, between 2 to 3 a.m. Alright? And third is text mining. Uh, picture your favorite storybook. So, text mining is like exploring and understanding what the story is about. So, when you read a book, you find interesting words and sentences so, text mining helps us discover important things in lots of words. So, it's like finding out what the story is saying. Just like you understand what your favorite story is about. And uh, another example, a klesang example, uh, para sa iba dyan, di ba? Ikaw naghihinala ka palagi sa either sa asawa mo, sa girlfriend or boyfriend mo, or sa side chick. Okay, hihinala ka. Then, you tend to read the messages sa Messenger, sa WhatsApp. Tapos so, nagulat ka, may ano, may grand. Okay, so parang ganun, di ba? So, you tend to read text and find any interesting information that will be useful for you. Okay, in simple words, so associate rule mining is about finding things that usually go together. Anomaly detection is noticing when something is different or it doesn't look normal. Okay. Third is text mining. So it's like exploring and understanding the important things in lots of words, like in your favorite storybook. Okay, so these are like special tools that help us learn more about the things we see. And it's about, you know, data mining techniques. So moving forward, we have last two examples. Uh, time series analysis. So imagine a day from morning to night. Time series is like looking at how something changed during the day. For example, you can see how the sky gets brighter in the morning, and then it's sunny in the afternoon, and it's get dark at night. So time series analysis help us understand how things move or change over time. So just like your day changes from morning to night. Okay, and lastly, machine learning analysis. Okay, so think about your favorite game, Dota 2, <laughs> Valorant. Or, so machine learning is like teaching a computer to play your favorite game with you. At first, you show the computer how to play and it learns from you. Then it can play the game on its own. So it's like having a smart friend who learns from you and gets better at things. So in, sh in short... AI and AI replaces you one day. <laughs> Joke. Okay, so in simple words, time series analysis is about watching how things change during different times, like how your days change from morning to night. And machine learning is like teaching a computer to do things by showing it and let it letting it learn, and just like a friend learning how to play your favorite games. So these are like cool ways we use to understand time and tem and teach computer to be smart. All right, so I hope we learn a lot from data mining techniques. Now we can proceed with the data mining process. And I believe this is very or pretty self-explanatory. Okay, first is we have the setting of the business objectives. Right, second one is we need to prepare the data. Third is we need to have the model building and the pattern mining for data analysis and lastly if you have all those uh mining process we need to evaluate and know how to implement certain knowledge about 
those data that we have gathered. All right. For our last slide, I will show you the major industries that utilize data mining application. First is the sales and marketing. So companies gather customer data to enhance, you know, marketing strategies, marketing techniques, and to boost the return of investment. Second is education. So educational institution collect data to study student success. So to tweak uh, learning strategies according to student learning curves. Third is operational optimization. If you happen to know Lean Six Sigma, so these are the people or the managers that enhances uh, activities or operations within the company by reducing waste and improving results based on the gathered data through data mining. And lastly, fraud detection, like what I have discussed earlier. So frequent data patterns offer insights and spotting anomalies helps detect fraud. And it is most likely being used by analysts or security analysts. And I think that's it. Thank you for listening. I have a, an example at the end of the video on, on how we can apply data mining in simple ways and in our daily life. So in this part of the video, I will show you how I can mine data through Excel using the manual method and with the use of an AI tool. So tune in. Abnonymous hanker mode. Yeah.